I feel like we just survived Mardi Gras, but look, it's time for Valentine's Day already. Got my little Valentine stuffies out. Pretty excited about it. Today, we are going to be doing a Valentine's Day eye look. Um, and first, I am going to be priming my eyelids with the Voodoo um, Beautiful Skin uh, Foundation. And I'm just going to do that to sort of mask any sort of discoloration or redness that I typically have in my eyelids. Um, I do feel like this also helps kind of the longevity of my eye makeup if you do a very, very light layer of it. So today we're going to be doing um, sort of a sultry, burgundy cat eye, um, I guess is how you would describe it. Um, and we're going to be using a couple really cool techniques to achieve this look. So once you're done priming your eyelids, um, concealing your eyelids more so, I'm going in with a little bit of tape. Um, you can use any sort of tape, scotch tape, anything. Just make sure you take off some of the tackiness on the back of your hand before putting it under your eye. So I'm just going right underneath the lower lash line, sort of following the natural line up to the tail of my brow. That's going to give us the best cat eye look for your eye shape. Um, a good trick is if you start at the arch of your brow, and then sort of pivot down to the tail of your brow. That's usually a good area for your cat eye or winged liner to come out. Just make sure they're even on both sides and we're ready to go. So I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and my absolute favorite eyeshadow, well, second favorite eyeshadow, Praline. Um, it's one of my favorite colors for transitioning. And I'm actually gonna go um, a little heavy with it and I'm going to blend that into the crease and I'm just gonna buff that back and forth, back and forth. Um, we want to we want it to be its most intense in the crease and then sort of blend out to nothing up towards the brow bone. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Um, what you'll quickly notice is just how much blending I do in this video. Um, and I think that's key to any sort of eye look. You can do the same technique with different colors, but blending is definitely something you're going to want to continuously do. It's going to make um, all your colors blend seamlessly. Um, so there we go again. I actually don't have any additional product on this brush. I'm just going in to blend it out. So next I'm going to be going in with Cayenne and this is my number one favorite shadow. Not just of Voodoo makeup shadows, but of all shadows. Um, it's a really beautiful burgundy. It has a nice um, iridescence in it or maybe iridescence is the wrong word. Um, it does have some light reflex, but it's not glittery or anything by any means. Um, and I'm actually applying it with a wet brush. That's what's so great about these pigments is that they can be used wet or dry. And actually, if you wanted to take, um, if you have like Visine or eye drops or anything like that, eye drops contain glycerin, which is um, an amazing product for making your eyeshadows like a silky, almost cream shadow look. Um, and that's actually what I'm going to be doing in just a second. So I'm just packing that color on all over the lid, keeping it below the crease. You want to make sure you're not going above the crease with this shadow because that's how it's going to make, it's going to really sort of close off your eyes. We still want our eyes to look open, but we're trying to get a little smoky, sultry effect. And so here I am going over with a little bit of Visine and see how it's just creating that beautiful, like wet look to the shadow. Um, and that's just an effect. The shadow is not actually wet, <laughs> um, but it's really beautiful. It catches the light. So now I'm going to go in with a blending, a different blending brush, and I'm just going to blend um, out that line where cayenne is. I have just a little bit of praline on my brush, not much, and I'm just going back and forth blending, trying to make sure that there's a smooth transition between the cayenne shade and the praline shade. And just go back and forth in sort of windshield wiper motions until you get sort of the de desired effect. I will say the more you blend, the better it's going to look. Um, this is usually where people get discouraged with looks like this, um, especially using multiple eyeshadows. Um, 
it's when it's kind of, you don't really have it blended together, but don't worry, there's nothing that you can't fix. So I'm even going in with my fingers to try and smudge out my inner corner. And remember, we haven't done concealer or mascara or anything yet, so there's still room to fix any sort of mistakes. And we're just continuing to go back and forth blending. Now I'm going to go in with the Night Owl shade, and I am just going to take that right in the outer V of the eye, just above the tape. And this shade is really unique. It's sort of a blackish gray uh, color that has some different multicolored like reflex in it, which makes it really unique because it sort of takes on the properties of whatever you're blending it next to. So because I'm blending this shade next to a burgundy, it's going to reflect more brownish burgundy undertones. But say if I were going to blend this same Night Owl shade next to a silver, it would look completely different. Um, so these sh pigments are extremely versatile. So now I'm going to be taking a little bit of gold champagne and putting that on the brow bone as a highlight. Um, this is a really great highlight shade. Um, because we've done so many dark colors, it's nice to bring in a light shade to sort of brighten some things up, clean up that upper brow bone area. Um, and this just is just sort of a light champagne gold shimmer. <laughs> I mean, I guess as the name suggests, that's basically what it looks like. Um, <laughs> once again, nothing on that blush, brush, doing just a little extra blending, making sure that praline goes into the golden champagne easily. So now I'm taking the Voodoo Makeup Brown Eyeliner in the shade Satisfaction. Um, this is a really nice dark brown, and you can see me demonstrate it on the left-hand side of the screen. Um, what's great about these Voodoo eyeliners is that they're very pigmented. Um, and they just glide on. They're not like going to skip or tug at your eyes, and they are very long wearing. Um, what I am going to end up doing is smudging this out a little bit just to sort of keep in theme with sort of the smoky look we have, but I do want it to define our lower lash, our lash line in order to keep that cat eye shape. So these are really great. Now I'm going in with uh, an angled brush and just a little bit of the Night Owl shade mixed with cayenne. I'm just using that to sort of smoke out the eyeliner that we just put down. Um, I do still want the eyeliner to be visible, but I want it to blend in just a little bit more. And a great way to do that is by smudging over it with the shadows you used previously. So we're just going back and forth doing that a couple times and you can be as messy as you need to be because remember that tape once you peel it off none of that overlap is still going to be there you're just going to have a nice sharp crisp line um, and it's going to be really beautiful once we finish so still just going back and forth again remember just keep tweaking until it's perfect all right peel that tape off and you're going to show that nice crisp clean line we have underneath very pretty. Luckily I got it even on both sides. So now we're I'm going in with the liner brush just to sort of tweak the line a little bit, clean anything up. And again, because we didn't go in with foundation, I'm just going to use a makeup wipe to clean any fallout. If we had used foundation, um, there might have been a little dark a few little dark specks on our upper cheeks, which is not the most flattering. So now I'm going in with a little bit of mascara. I'm just coating my lashes in preparation for false lashes. Um, if you're going to be going in with false lashes, I usually suggest wearing a little bit of mascara. That way your natural lashes blend in with the false lashes. Um, and I'm going to be using some pretty fluffy um, lashes. These are more of a cat eye shape. These are the Voodoo Makeup 217 lashes. They're really beautiful. Um, you can buy them on the website, of course. Um, and they're more of a cat eye shape, as in they're shorter in the corner of the eye, inner corner, and the lashes get longer towards the outer corner. So it really emphasizes that shape that we just did. Um, these are really light and fluffy lashes. They're super comfortable to wear. Um, if you're interested in a more detailed how to apply lash video, we can definitely do that. Just let us know. Now, I've already applied my foundation. Um, I figured since I have done two videos focusing on foundation that I would go ahead and skip it for today. If you haven't seen those videos, 
um, you will see my foundation routine as well as these two products that I'm using, the Kiss of Sun and Light and the 10 Years Younger. Though I am taking this really just one step further, I am going to be using that Kiss of Sun on my forehead, down the center of my nose, on my chin, and on the corners of my mouth and corners of my nose. And I'm just using this to highlight and bring some definition to the face. Oh, excuse me. I apologize for my sniffles. I am getting a little sick. But what I'm going to be doing is sort of a subtle contour. So I'm subtly highlighting and then we're going to do a very light contour. The reason I say light contour is because you don't want to do anything too heavy or dramatic since we're already doing such a heavily dramatic eye look. Um, especially for Valentine's Day, you know, if you're celebrating a relationship or love, you want to look like yourself a little bit. Or, hey, if you're not going out for Valentine's Day and you just want to celebrate your love of makeup, this works great too. Um, of course, makeup is super personal, where I think maybe an intense contour might be too much. There's going to be someone else who's going to think it's not complete without an intense contour, and that is perfectly okay. Um, I'm just showing this sort of more natural technique. Um, but speaking of the love of makeup, actually, Voodoo Makeup, uh, the Voodoo Makeup team is in New York City right now for Fashion Week. They are doing two runway shows, um, and they're doing the makeup for them, and that's amazing. I'm so excited for Ame and Ron Carr, who are the founders of Voodoo Makeup. They've worked really hard, and they're doing some really beautiful looks in New York. Um, I think I'm going to be doing a video on runway inspired makeup, um, sort of how you can wear that every day, um, which I think is going to be fun. So let us know if you think that's a good idea or not. So now I'm going in with my foundation brush and just sort of blending everything together. And now I'm going in with a contour shade. Um, this is just a foundation shade that's a few shades darker than me. Though if you see the picture I just showed, we uh, Voodoo Makeup has come out with a highlight and contour palette. Unfortunately, they are sold out of it at Voodoo Makeup right now, but if you are a lucky person living in Baton Rouge, I believe you can pick up that palette at Avant 2 Beauty Bar in Central, or Baton Rouge Central area. Um, I'll leave that information in the description box below. Um, they're actually a wonderful spot as well, and they do carry Voodoo Makeup products, which is awesome. So now, as you saw, I just sort of put that contour shade below my cheekbones. I put it on my uh, forehead, on the sides of my nose, and under my jawline. And I'm just uh, just buffing those in. Um, what's great about these products is that because it is the same, pro it's technically the same formulation as the foundation, it blends into it seamlessly. Um, you're not going to see any sort of uh, separation or anything because you're using like a powder on top of a cream. This is the exact same product, it's just in a different color, so it's going to make it really beautiful. As you can see, that brought some definition to my face. Now, if you're having trouble figuring out how to contour under your cheeks, like where you should put it, you can do the famous fishy face and see where your cheekbones fall, or I suggest taking your makeup brush and holding it from the upper, um, from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth, and that's typically a good area for contouring for your face. So now I'm just bringing it down the sides of my nose, um, and this is just more so to bring a little color to that area. Now I'm going in with a combination of night, uh, with a combination of cayenne and praline underneath the lower lash line, just to sort of finish that look up. I feel like um, because we did such a heavy look on top, it's going to look much better if we do um, a little bit on the bottom to sort of balance it out. Now, I would normally do a little mascara on my lower lash lines, but I did forget to do that this particular time, though I do think that would even out the lashes a little bit more, though it doesn't really matter. Now I'll be going in with the gold champagne color. Um, well, actually, I'll be going in with satisfaction eyeliner one more time and um, just doing that underneath um, on the lower lash line, just sort of smudging that in the waterline. Now you could take this all the way to the inner corner, but I decided not to. I'm going to leave that area so I can highlight it. <laughs> I accidentally got a little bit of uh, contour shade from my finger on my face, so i got to buff that out. But now I'm going to be going in with the gold champagne color, and I'm going to be putting it in the inner corners of my eyes. So there we go. As you can see, it sort of looks like a white opaque powder as I'm putting it down. But as I work it in with my finger, the white powder sort of absorbs into the skin, and the only thing that's left is that gold shimmer, which is so unique about this shade. 
think I've actually used it as a cheekbone highlight. Um, it looks fantastic. Um, all of these pigments are really versatile. Though, if you're someone who is not a pigment lover, do not worry. They are actually making all of their loose pigments into pressed eyeshadows. So that's super exciting. It's going to be the same beautiful formulation, but they're going to be in pressed eyeshadow pans. So now I'm about to go in with a little bit of blush. I am using the Voodoo Makeup Blush. This is like a dusty, rosy pink. I'm not sure of the shade name, but I will leave it in the product or in the description box below. So now I am just going in with Butter Me Up, which is a um, clear, just sort of hydrating balm. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be going over it with a really intense lipstick, but I don't want it to look that intense. So this is the shade Intrigue, which is beautiful if you love like a really dark, burgundy, maroon, purpley, like vampy lip, this is the lipstick for you. But for this particular look, I wanted to just do sort of a kiss of color on my lips as opposed to a deep, dark, vampy color. So that's why I put down that Butter Me Up before. I really sheared it out. And as you can see, this just sort of completes the look. It definitely brings a little bit of purple in. So if you liked any of the products that I used in this video, you can order them online at voodoomakeup.com and use the code Blair to get 10% off of your entire order. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can see future videos. And let us know what you'd like to see next. Sky, 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 sky.